What's happening guys? What's going on? Welcome to another video of Ride with Raj. Today we are going to talk about Royal Enfield products because a lot of people were asking me that you've done the jacket, you've done the pants but what about the boots, the gloves and everything? You guys already know that I lost one pair of gloves in my Harley Davidson uh, vlog video and I really regret that but guess what? Yeah. So finally I got this awesome complimenting gloves with the boots yes this is from the royal enfield store and if you guys are not following the website please do that the link is in the description they do have these awesome sales happening the last sale was 40 percent discount uh, on these products and it was awesome i think it's nearly getting over the sizes are getting over well i got both these products and now we'll talk about this quickly so let's get going with it first i'm gonna talk about these gloves okay i really like brown leather a lot and uh, i can't believe that this time i got the gloves with a cloth uh, which is military green so this is really old school which I really like as you guys can see the badging is right here and Royal Enfield in a very vintage font yes it does have a little bit of safety but it's not a very very hard plastic because these are urban gloves all right this is not long riding gloves but I do keep them as a spare uh, if I'm even planning to do my long ride so the long riding gloves after a long time actually starts biting you depending which brand you're wearing I will disclose the brand when I start my long ride about the long riding gloves that review will come separately but I am carrying a spare of these uh, because they are very soft very comfortable I like I like that this time the leather is used only on particular places uh, such as the top area the finger digits by the way this is not cloth this is a softer leather use all right this is a little harder leather I like that elastic which will grip your wrist well the cloth material is only used in the finger area and the palm area which is nice and uh, let me wear them and show it to you guys okay one more thing I would like to highlight is I've got this t-shirt from Advaita fashion uh, the link will be in the description thank you so much for sending this t-shirt so if you're planning to get these t-shirts make sure the sizing is right because I'm wearing a large usually I wear a medium uh, but he has Indian sizing so be careful with that I have very small palms that's why I wear a small size it fits perfectly fine as you can see um, it's actually exactly my size and that's what I like uh, wearing gloves I don't like wearing loose gloves uh, the biggest advantage now I'll talk about is this yes uh, both the gloves have if you notice both the gloves have the touch screen uh, material used on your gloves yes so as you guys can clearly see in that i'm using the phone uh, with my gloves and that's the best part about these yes. the pair gets the first fingers with the touch sensitive material and uh, that's all you don't have the thumb to use it so if you're used to pressing the thumb then it would be a problem uh, as you can see that it has decent vents around the finger also uh, which has a lot of air circulation which i really like the finger digits do have good pads uh, for protection uh, but yes they are not made of composite plastic they are actually sponge kind of a thing uh, in near the knuckle guard they do have this is harder but before that they also have the crease here so that it can be flexible that's what I like about these gloves and what I like is these gloves are really comfortable I always prefer vintage looking gloves because I like vintage bikes and classic bikes and that's why this really appeals to me uh, but trust me guys after wearing it and uh, using it for a couple of times it's good always remember guys if you're getting leather gloves use them for a while before it breaks in uh, because leather needs to get the right shape of your hand so if you if you're planning a long ride uh, make sure you just don't buy new gloves and go it might bite you so it's better that you use it in the city which i'm planning to do and again it has side raining so today is the 17th day it is continuously raining in mumbai and uh, as you guys can hear i'm sure uh, in the audio that it's raining majorly i'm wearing both of these now as you guys can see it's really comfortable i feel really nice uh, wearing these and um, um, I, I don't know why I love S sizes a lot of brands don't have my size they always have medium large or XL uh, but fortunately Royal Enfield has the S size and I, it really fits well I like it only till here is because I don't like gloves which go all the way here so that I can't wear watches it's difficult to remove the jacket and stuff like that so I prefer gloves uh, to be this size and um, yeah so these are very comfortable and the best way to compliment this is my boots yes this is so cool as you guys can see this is a brand new 
pair of boots and these boots are called Huntsman uh, and they have two colors I think they have the blue and brown and the green and brown I had to go with the green and brown so that it could match my gloves and they really look hardcore uh, let's talk about this now so these boots uh, really look like military boots which I really like and you can see it says 1901 that's when Royal Enfield actually uh, started their uh, motorcycle uh, history uh, talking about the made like a gun logo they've uh, incorporated here uh, I like that they've done it here because this is where your ankle uh, bone is and it's kind of a protection for that the toe part is really stiff friends uh, that's what I like the rest of the boots are softer so if you touch the canvas or the cloth what they've used is softer and where they want the toughness they've added the leather even the heel side has a nice uh, leather uh, properly stitched around the canvas if you want your heel tops to become more longer they have given this arrangement just open the button and all you gotta do is flap this up so now they become like more of a military style boots uh, and you can put the laces all the way till top i like that the laces are also tough uh, they've used real good material there's a leather tag for the laces they have also incorporated their uh, logo here in a leather patch which is really nice i don't know if you guys can see it inside that there is a leather uh, patch uh, kept inside in spite of a comforter uh, so that it actually gives a feel of stiffness and you find these shoes comfortable rather than heavy boots anyway these boots are not very heavy and I'm seriously going to wear this for my regular Mumbai rides like going, uh, you know, going to Lunavla, Pune, Igatpuri and such kind of rides which I do on Sundays. Unfortunately, I'm not riding lately it's because of the rains. And uh, so I'll be wearing these boots and I really like that they use leather here. So very well made. Let's talk about the sole quickly. As you guys can see, this is a 42 number. That's my size. The sole looks tough and rich. Uh, it has decent grips if you're doing uh, city rides and stuff like that. Guys, these are not long ranger boots. Uh, they are for your basic rides and stuff. Even for wearing under jeans, they look really smart. And that's why I really like it. Don't compare these boots with the hardcore riding boots, which uh, I use in uh, my whiteout ride and stuff like that, because these are differently designed uh, to take rough terrain. Uh, this is good for uh, Rocky Mountains, you know, basic stuff if you're even doing hiking and stuff these are cool just put these up there is a pull tag given here uh, so that you can slip them on easily or you can even hang them anywhere you want it so what i like about these boots is that it's not only glued uh, they have also done a stitching around which i really like uh, which happens nowadays with a lot of boots uh, but these are really nice and they look really rugged and retro and they really complement my gloves You'll be seeing these a lot on my rides and stuff like that. So details of this will be in the description. Check out the store. They have plenty of apparels and stuff happening. I'm too excited to shop from Royal Enfield store. Before I end this video, I'm sure you want to know my next ride. But stay tuned for that because few of my Instagrammers already know what my ride plans are. So stay tuned and as usual, eat well, sleep well, be good. Signing off, Ride with Raj.